Hey, this is Bobby at Copel TV Repair with hopefully a really quick video that I'm hoping will help some people make what I know now to be an easy decision in regards to repairing an E55 G4 QNKC. It's a very weird model. The insignia. Let me see if there is a different one somewhere. No, I'm not seeing any. Um, we'll put it in the video title and uh, let's say that you have verified that the problem is in the LED strips uh, which is easy you have a connector on the back you do a LED tester and you find out that one of the circuits is either not working or playing tricks that can be harder sometimes I wish I would spend the time to show you the second strip starts and then stops I think was it the second or the first it may have been the first that was that is already down that had the connections eaten but that is not my biggest point this point is that this is big enough TV uh, you may have a customer that says gives you enough money to go and replace the strips you can see the strips are not very expensive and go ahead and try to do it the first problem that you're going to run into is the the LCD is glued and that's a big big problem glued to the plastic frame that goes under it and the bottom was not this is missing here but the side is glued so what we did is we took it off along with the frame which we have not done before at least not that I remember and which may work in some cases uh, then the, some of the sheets and uh, from the reflector were also glued on the edge you have to be careful but that's more doable how we're going to put back the lcd along with the plastic frame so that it aligns perfectly when it goes down that's got to be a two-man job and then come the real the real breakers first every one of those strips has one two three four five six seven eight nine freaking screws there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven strips, seven uh, strips, 63 screws. You have to unscrew just to get to this. And, and this is the smaller problem. The bigger is that the glue that did those use is the toughest, worst type of glue that I have ever seen. And I have seen many types of glues and strips. And it's normal many times that you just would rip them off and you break them because you don't care about them. But if you do that, what happens is the old strip is left here in that form and it's extremely tough to remove uh, you can hit it of course it doesn't make it it does make it easier but it's going to be extremely time consuming uh, the whole thing has to be the whole panel needs to be hidden off I mean, I'm skipping some small things like the reflector, plastic holders, the back side of the boards this is the deal breaker each one of those strips will leave this residual on the back and if you want to do a good job replacing the strip you got to make sure that this surface is clean and flat for the new strip otherwise it wouldn't do a good heat dissipation and the new strips will fail soon and I swear to you you are not going to make money if you have to do that for seven strips you can see how hard that it is and if you have removed LED strips before you do know that most of the times when strips are bad this glue has already uh, hardened and it's very easy to remove well not this time uh, it is a okay that's a bump it's gonna be a real pain in the butt i honestly considering all the problems that all the time it will take to put the screws back all the time to remove all of those strips and clean underneath because the alternative is just to make a, a nasty job and tape on top of those and not care about in that case you wouldn't need the screws at all i mean why bother screwing here if there is something underneath that is making that strip warp around and not not touch completely and fully on its surface the back panel to dissipate the heat so my recommendation is just don't go for it uh again uh, first if you try to remove the LCD itself uh, which is being I've broken a few before not on this particular model 
that's why on this one, uh, taking the whole frame, if somebody has a better solution as to how to, I mean, the only way you can do that is with heat, and I've tried it, and it doesn't work any better. Yes, it does make it, maybe, maybe the whole thing has to be heating up a whole lot more. Uh, it is becoming, what, to, to our job? Mm, I, I, I would, I would, I don't recommend it, just don't do it. That's for me, check out, best of luck with your repairs.